In a world where travel has become a crucial part of our lives, there is a technology that has changed how we explore the globe and provides us with the fastest and most accurate method to navigate, measure speed and determine location. Fiji is a tropical paradise recognized for its stunning beauty and welcoming people. But did you know that Fiji was instrumental in transforming the way the world travels? On this episode of The Social Plug, we dive into the story of GPS and how one small island nation in the Pacific forever changed the way we get from point A to point B. For centuries, explorers and travelers relied on stars, compasses and intricate charts as well as equipment to navigate enormous oceans and unknown territories. However, in the late 20th century, a groundbreaking technology appeared the Global Positioning System or GPS. GPS is a network of satellites that circle the Earth and constantly transmit signals to ground receivers. These receivers, like the ones in your smartphone or your car, use several satellite signals to pinpoint their specific location. GPS has become an invaluable tool for travelers the world over. The technology has altered the way we explore our world from navigating unfamiliar streets to finding the next gas station or motel to discovering new places. Fiji has a unique place in GPS history, having served as a major testing site for GPS technology in the 1990s. Fiji was ideally positioned to be a GPS pioneer since its domestic aviation industry was highly developed at the time with 19 commercial airfields and 7 private airports. With approximately 300 islands scattered over 500,000 square kilometers of ocean, testing could include land, sea, mountains, extreme tropical weather patterns and long flight routes all inside a single airspace. The difficult terrain, dense forests and surrounding waterways of the islands posed obstacles that helped develop GPS accuracy and reliability. The United States military first developed GPS in the 1970s with the goal of improving on existing navigation systems. At the time, flight navigation relied largely on radar and visual routing. Pilots had followed courses established by land-based beacons since the 1940s, either in the form of radio signals or visual markers. But it was a flawed system and things became trickier over large bodies of water. By the end of 1990, 16 GPS satellites were in position and operational, allowing GPS to work in the majority of situations around the world. Companies were now selling individual receivers to the general public. During the Persian Gulf War, they were useful in a military role and a number of commercial pilots were also employing them unofficially. GPS's potential was becoming clear. However, before general acceptance on the commercial aviation platform, it needed to be tested in a controlled environment before widespread adoption could be on the table. In order to offer its services as a testing ground for GPS navigation, Fiji approached the US and its Federal Aviation Administration, or the FAA. In exchange for the knowledge it may get from the trial, the FAA promised to pay for the update and give the necessary tools and technical support. The system setup would take well over a year. In addition to the equipment's installation, new flight routes had to be planned, manuals had to be created and crew members had to be taught. Teams of scientists, engineers and technicians from around the world gathered in Fiji, conducting extensive tests and measurements to fine-tune GPS signals and ensure its accuracy in even the most challenging environments. The 24th and final satellite was launched in late 1993 and Fiji became the world's first country to adopt GPS into its navigation systems in April 1994. It immediately served the small nation well. Fiji demonstrated how GPS can improve aviation in a variety of ways, making it faster, more efficient and safer. In the quarter century after Fiji began using GPS navigation for domestic flights, the technology has spread around the world, frequently with the direct assistance of Fiji's new experts. 
There are additionally 31 satellites, with the majority of the initial 24 retired and replaced. Planes may now fly for hours over the ocean using accurate navigation, and there can be more aircraft in the air at any given moment. A plane was once forced to fly 18 minutes behind the plane in front of it. That number has now been lowered to 10. Furthermore, travel times have been reduced because planes can now fly directly to a destination. Before GPS, aircraft were required to fly with enough fuel for a return trip in the event of being unable to land at their destination. After GPS made such a precaution unnecessary, they were able to lose that extra load. Thanks to the advancements made in Fiji, GPS has become a fundamental tool for travelers worldwide. It has empowered adventurers to embark on incredible journeys, discover remote destinations and navigate with confidence. As we witness the breathtaking beauty of Fiji, let us remember the small nation that played a monumental role in changing the way the world travels. Thank you for watching today's episode of The Social Plug. If you enjoyed our content, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Social Plug Fiji Click on the subscribe button to stay up to date on all our latest videos.